Akane is sort of a big deal for the Genshin Impact lore, but while we've heard a lot about it over the year, we've never actually seen it save for one brief glimpse of, well, yeah. <clears throat> but what I think is the most interesting and telling bit of lore that we have received in the past couple of updates is the Rift Hounds, namely the fact that they are abyss monsters created by Albedo's master and like to hang out on Surumi Island. Now, obviously, these guys are very different from any of the other Abyss-class monsters that we encountered on our journey. They aren't seemingly subjected to the curse that the Abyss mages, lectors, herald, and others are, and, well, vicious, seem to be more along the lines of specters, creatures that go about their days not really having any signs of a culture and are ready to beat you up on sight. So, with this in mind, we can probably assume that, unlike the Abyss Mages and other members of the Abyss Order, they aren't teleporting around to specific locations to fulfill whatever the group is plotting. So then, why are they hanging out on Surumi Island? Well, there's only one thing that makes Surumi Island different from every other place in the game that we've seen so far. The fact that the island is, or was, depending on if you've done a quest or not, anchored in two different points in time. Kana Kapriji, or the Great Thunderbird, had used their power to keep Rui in a stasis of sort of alive by putting the entire island into a time loop. And we know that the Abyss Order has some ties to time. After all, Dane is running around admitting that he's an immortal in almost every character trailer. Plus, there is the old god of time that used to be worshipped in Mondstadt alongside Barbados, and the fact that our twin is running around with a mysterious element which we do not have access to. So, it would make sense that, in a way, every creature tied to the Abyss is also somehow tied to time. So, for the Rift Town portals to go to a place where time is bent and broken makes sense. After all, it's natural for a creature to go through the path of least resistance. So, if the easiest place to make a portal is Surumi Island, they'd make a portal at Surumi Island and hang out there. So, what does that mean and what does it have to do with Conria? Well, the portal that Golden Wolf Lord uses is very similar to the ones that we see in We Will Be Reunited quests when the Lector, our twin, and the accidental tag-along of Dane, who took the core that they were looking for, retreat. So, with the two portals, each made for a retreat, where could they specifically have gone? Well, the only option that makes sense would be Conria or an adjacent space, somewhere safe for them. Since, again, the Rift Towns are not directly tied to the Abyss Order, they are probably going to travel to somewhere they're familiar, like the place they were first created. So, adding all of this up in a weird mathematical equation that probably doesn't make much sense, it probably sounds like I'm rambling right now, it would make sense, or it's at least possible, that the Conria that was destroyed isn't exactly the Conria that the Abyss Order is holding up in. Basically, the idea that I'm trying to get at, essentially, the Rift Towns are traveling through time to get to where we are now, which is why they went to Tsurumi Island, and so if they're traveling through time, then Conria that they are going to is the Conria of the past. I know that, that preamble did not make a lot of sense, and I am sorry for that, but th the answer sort of, in certain points, is the only thing I can see to explain certain things. See, Kaya's whole lore is basically that he is adopted and is actually from Conria. He was left at the winery by his father and was told that he was the last hope, being forced to be some kind of agent for the city, despite what he may or may not want. However, Conria was also destroyed around 500 years ago. So how would Kaya be from a place that doesn't exist anymore and hasn't for 500 years? Admittedly, in hindsight, we don't know the life expectancy of people in Debat, but that being said, nobody's running around talking about a destroyed city and a better reference being older than he appeared when he admitted he was a homunculus, so you know, Kaya probably isn't in his 500s, but if he lived in a place that was frozen in time and then taken out and placed into Mondstadt, this difference in age would make sense, as would the fact that our sibling's appearance hasn't really changed and nobody knows about the secret order save for the people in Mondstadt, because they decided they want to fight the dark hero for some reason. Probably some weird Kaya Deluc thing that we haven't reached yet. The point is, it would make a lot of sense for Kanye to have been frozen in time. So, yeah. And that 
was very scattered and I apologize because I've been trying for like a month to get this to, to work and write and sound normal on paper while expressing what's going on in my head and it hasn't been working well because I've been a little distracted this month. Not the point. The point is that I um, am doing this now because in the 2.4 patch notes, Azura has kindly told me that Rift Towns are apparently going to be in Wolfendom at some point. And that got me reflecting on this again and trying to figure out how to fit that in and I'm not entirely sure but considering that I feel like Mondstadt is in some way is connected because of again the god of time and the fact that that's where the abyss order has been hanging out for the first little while that's the only place we've really seen them do anything <laughs> so clearly there's some special connection of Mondstadt to Conria I don't know what that might be. I don't know if possibly there's another time anomaly going on in Mondstadt, and I'm starting to question if there is, which will be very interesting. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh man, I... Yeah, I'm sorry, this one was a weird video. I, I really wanted a reason to figure out Kaya's age and the Surumi Island and the Rift Hounds kind of made sense to me for that. So that's where this all came from, <laughs> and um, it's it's the answer that I am at least going to use. Um, you're welcome to use it too, or you're welcome to go to the comments and tell me I'm being dumb, because I probably am. I'm gonna end this now before I keep talking. If, if you have a pet, hug them for me. Okay, bye! <laughs>